you've made some obviously some big signings over the break. How, how are you shaping up overall for the season ahead? Yeah, we're going okay. Um, obviously, um, as you said, we've made quite a few changes, so uh, it, um, it's uh, you know, going to take a while for things to uh, um, sort of gel, but we've got a long pre-season, and, and so far I'm pretty happy with the way we're, we're sort of travelling. The fans are obviously fairly excited, particularly about the, the Flores signing. How important will he be to, to the way you want to play this season? Yeah, I guess, look, um, yeah, Marcos is, is, uh, yeah, is, is already proven that he can play at this level, and I guess that's what you're looking for, somebody who's got some proven ability. Obviously, we've made a lot of changes, and as I said, when, when you do, uh, particularly with new signing, sometimes a bit of uncertainty, but with Marcos, we kind of know what we're getting, and, and certainly from our point of view, um, it's, it's uh, you know, pretty pleased to get him on board, and, and I'm sure he'll make an impact this year for us, but at the same time, you know, we're not going to be sort of... Uh, you know, pinning our hopes on one individual this year. Hopefully, you know, collectively as a team, we'll we'll be strong enough to to um, you know get ourselves back up to where we want to be. Absolutely, and I guess you, you were known for a certain football philosophy up in Brisbane. Is there a big change that needs to happen with how you want you know victory to play this year, or, or is it just some slight tinkering with personnel and and, and the system of play? Oh no, without a shadow of a doubt, you know, I think people are quite familiar with kind of the style that I want to play and, and the, you know, I certainly, um, from my point, that's not going to change uh, this year. We, we, you know, I, I like my terms to play a certain type of football and uh, the challenge will be to, to get this new group of players and try and play that way. I, you know, I'm not going to change my philosophy and, and to do that, I think, you know, it does require a major reshuffle from what the, how the club was uh, playing last year. But, you know, having said that, oh, I'm still pretty confident we've, we'll have enough time to get it right. Is that your biggest challenge in returning victory to the top of the A League, Ange? Is it is it that playing system, or is it is it opposition teams? Um, you know, perhaps knowing that that's how you like to play, and and, and maybe trying to um, attack that. Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I, I, when you're kind of starting off on on the journey like we are, you, you kind of trust focus on what you're doing and, and you know, how we how we're travelling internally and I think that's the most important thing we can do is just try and get the players and everyone understand how we're going to play our football this year and not worry too much about yeah you know, well potentially what challenges we're going to face in terms of the opposition in terms of the year just just really try and hone in on our style of football and uh, yeah that'll be our focus particularly early on in the season yeah you know, depending on how the season uh, and you know, sort of develops after that uh, yeah you know, like I said I'm sure we'll get different challenges at different times. So right now, folks, just on ourselves. I guess turning our, our eyes now then to the the, um, the, the visit next week, um, what do you expect from, from the games down in Tasmania and, and the visit in general? Oh, look, the games, I guess, are just a, a, another opportunity for us to continue on, you know, being prepared, getting prepared. I mean, our whole focus of pre-season is to be ready for round one, you know, and uh, we've had a few friendly games here and obviously we've got two down there and, and that's, that's the basic, um, sort of focus for all our pre-season games. I, I think being away a week is, is good for us as well because we've got you know, a lot of new players and, and staff and you know, just spending a week together um, it, it will be good for us as well I think from a bonding point of view. I think it gives us an opportunity for everyone to spend some time together so from that point of view it's good and but we also know that you know we, we really want to develop a strong relationship with Tassie. You know, there, there's a passion of football community down there and, and we're already, uh, the club's already shown signs that they want to make that relationship meaningful. So, you know, the whole week won't be just about playing two games for us. Um, it'll also be really about really engaging with the football community in Tassie and, and like I said, just establishing some meaningful links down there. The reception on the announcement that Victory had, be, had come on board as, as major sponsors of the, the Taz State League was received, um, you know, people were over the moon in Tasmania. Um, what's that mean moving forward for, for Melbourne Victory and Tasmanian juniors, Ange? Do you think that provides opportunities for, for youngsters to, to come over to, um, to impress in the youth setup or, or with scouts from Melbourne Victory specifically? Oh, look, no doubt. I mean, like I said, I, I, you know, the club's very, very committed to making this a, a really meaningful relationship. And, you know, as I said, I've been to Tassie a few times and I know there's a, there's a, there's a strong and passionate football community down there. And obviously them not having an A-League um, is a real opportunity for us there if we're prepared to, to, to work at things and, and make it meaningful to create not only, you know, uh, a, a larger supporter base, but as you said, um, if there are talented players, and I'm sure there are in Tassie, that, you know, maybe we can provide them that, that pathway um, that they need to, to play top-level football. And, uh, you know, this relationship won't be just about this week. 
that we're going to spend down there. It goes beyond that. It'll be about you know regular contact during the year. We've got an A League fixture down there at the Central Coast, so there's all sorts of uh, avenues that we will be exploring. And uh, I certainly want us to have a presence down there. And as I said, that that includes that if there are young footballers who who hopefully want to play for the Melbourne Victory, that we can provide them that sort of opportunity. Obviously, um, you'll be playing against a, a Tasmania Select team down here on, on Tuesday of next week. Last time that happened um, with Tasmania playing against the Central Coast Mariners, there was a big turnout um, for football down here, uh, just under 3,000 people um, on, a, on a Tuesday night, similar to, to what we're looking forward to next week. Um, what do you expect from the Tasmania game? And will we see, um, for instance, Flores in that, or will that be a case for um, perhaps some of the younger guys, Davies, Jego, and a few of the other guys, to, to step up um, in that first game? Oh, no, look, I mean, in terms of the game against Tazzy, I mean, we're going to treat the two games, uh, you know, as, a, as a, again, an opportunity to us to, to keep developing what we're doing. And, and, you know, I haven't really settled on, you know, who's going to be in the stronger 11. It mainly comes down to the conditioning of the guys, and some guys are further advanced than others. And, uh, you know, we're, we're ideally what we'd like to do is to take the whole squad down. Is, you know, I think Parker Major and Leia is still in rehab, uh, but we'll be with us, everyone else, to, to give them a run over the two games and, and give them as much game time as possible. Um, you know, you know, Marcus Flores probably, you know, he hasn't played any games so far, so he's more than likely to feature on the Tuesday and maybe even the Friday, but not for extended minutes. So it'll just be a case by case thing, and, and you know, I'm sure you know, we'll fill the strong side in both team, both games. And um, Archie will be coming off the back of um, so yeah. Socceroos duty. Um, will he be Will he be featuring in the games as well, Ange? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Archie, um, he gets back. I think on Friday, so he'll be travelling down with the team on on Sunday, and and again he's he's been training really, really well, and and um, you know obviously going away with Socceroos is, is fantastic for him and for us, but he'll be back and he'll definitely play, um, you know at this stage more than likely in the Adelaide game uh, uh, rather than the Tuesday game. But um, as I said, I'll, I'll be, you know, I wouldn't be 